Sometimes, dead is better. Pet Cemetery Bloodlines just came out today on Paramount Plus, and I just watched it, and I'm going to review it for you guys, give you my first real reaction to it. This isn't going to be a spoiler review. This is going to be spoiler free. So don't worry if you do want to watch the movie, you can watch this review first and then go watch the movie. I'm also not really going to compare this movie to the book and I'm not going to compare it to other Pet Cemetery films. I'm just going to talk about the movie on its own within its own merits. So let's talk about it. But before I do, you should consider subscribing. I absolutely love horror. Most of what I do on this channel leans towards the horror category. I do trailer reactions, I talk about TV shows, I talk about movies every now and then, and I talk about survival horror gaming. And it's October, there's a lot of horror stuff coming out this month, and I really want to talk about just horror movies more than I typically do. I know I already missed reviewing Saw X and The Exorcist Believer on release days. Life has been kind of busy, so I wasn't able to do it. However, I do plan on still talking about those movies later this month. But anyway, Anyway, when I sat down to watch Pet Cemetery Bloodlines this morning, my expectations were absolutely on the floor. I had no expectations for this film. We're in a new age of Stephen King films. We're like back in the day, there would be a good Stephen King movie every now and then, but most of them would be schlock but they would be enjoyable, charming schlock. Movies that you loved to hate. But now we're in an era where Stephen King films are actually really, really, really good movies. Half of the time. But the other half of the time, they're still bad. But they're bad without that charm. That usually accompanies bad Stephen King movies. And I will say the first 20 minutes of Pet Cemetery Bloodlines, I found myself surprised. It was better than I thought it was going to be in terms of direction, in terms of pacing, and mostly in terms of acting. Every single actor in this movie is giving a really good performance. And it's honestly the characters in this movie that pulled me through it and made me not hate the entire hour and a half runtime. And that's my biggest positive and my biggest takeaway for this movie is that the acting is solid. The characters are pretty much enjoyable for the most part. But unfortunately, after the movie hits the 25 minute to a half hour mark, it becomes pretty much exactly what I was expecting. There are so many logic issues in this movie. There are so many pacing issues in this movie. Again, I really enjoyed the first 25 minutes, but after that, I was really questioning why I was finishing this movie. And it just made me so sad to see a movie that had and started with so much potential, essentially give up on it. And the pacing issues really are what brings this movie down a lot for me. I'm not saying this movie was going to be a 10 out of 10 fantastic Stephen King movie, but this movie had the potential to be, you know, a decent movie, watchable, or maybe even rewatchable. But as it progressed, it just got worse and worse and worse. It's like every 10 minutes of this movie, it dropped another point in my mind. There were so many moments in this movie where the action picked up or the horror picked up, the very intense sequences where they just really dropped the ball. And it was either on set while they were filming it where they just, I don't know, were too lazy to do stuff properly. Or it was in the editing room where it was just edited horribly and it made you feel like you were missing out on so much of the narrative that they weren't connecting the pieces as much as they should have been. I'm going to give you a very, very, very vague, vague spoiler. I'm not going to talk about any specific characters that are involved in this scene. I'm not going to talk about the setting or the location. I'm just going to talk about a scene in very vague detail to get my point across. There's a scene where a character has another character at gunpoint and then literally 1.5 to 2 seconds later, that character character is now dead on the ground. You don't see them die and the scene isn't even portrayed in a way where a new character comes across the dead body and then you're experiencing the scene through their perspective. It just feels like they lazed out somewhere. Either on set they decided not to film the scene of this character actually dying because it would have been too difficult or which I think is probably the more realistic answer and which is what I think probably happened is that while editing it they just decided to cut out a good 30, 40, maybe even a minute long scene and it ended up coming across just, you know, 
very poor, very rushed, very cluttery, and just very, very bad. Again, horrible pacing issues, horrible logic issues. Like there's so much stuff in this climax I wish I could talk about that just makes no sense. Why were these characters doing these things? It involves a mud puddle. I'll leave it at that. If you watch the movie, you'll know what I'm talking about. But anyway, there's my very brief and quick thoughts on the Pet Cemetery bloodlines. I'm sorry this video isn't more in depth. There's just not really much to talk about it. Again, pretty good performances from the actors and the actresses involved. The movie starts out good, but it really loses its footing pretty quickly and it stumbles again and again and again and it never recovers. However, if you already have Paramount Plus, if you're a fan of Pet Cemetery or the 2018 or 19 remake, I'm not sure which year, or or you're just a Stephen King fan and you want to watch anything with his name on it, I can recommend giving this movie a shot, but don't feel bad if you get 40 minutes in and you stop watching it. Thank you for watching, especially if you watched this far. Once again, consider subscribing. And if you watch the movie, let me know your thoughts in the comments because I'm curious. Am I the only one that feels this way? Did you love it or do you hate it? Let me know. Thank you for watching.